Hi everyone, welcome to All Things Iceland, the place to get the inside scoop on Icelandic nature, history, culture, and language. My name is Jules and we have a very special episode today. And of course, with a special episode, we need a special guest <laughs> who's returning. And for those who have maybe not seen some of my previous videos, this is my lovely husband, Gunnar. Welcome back. Thank you. Are you excited to be here? Of course. Yeah, we've got such exciting news. Like, I can't even stress this. I know I say I'm excited about a lot of things, but that's just how life is for me and Gunnar's loving because it's true. <laughs> but as you can tell by the thumbnail, we are of course doing an Icelandic sweater giveaway. Gunnar is wearing one of his Icelandic sweaters, and I'm of course wearing one of mine, which is something I like to do in a lot of my videos. But before we get to that, because that's one of our like two big announcements is, you know, the giveaway and how you can enter the giveaway, I want to talk about the other big announcement that Gunnar and I are collaborating on, which has to do with an all things Iceland box, which is so cool. So he and I are picking what's going in the box, but we're partnering up with the Reykjavik Grapevine, which is a publication here in Iceland. They publish about Icelandic news, but in English. And that to me has been kind of a really interesting story. And I'm just gonna like, really quick side note about the Reykjavik Grapevine and why it, for me, is something that's so special to partner with them. And it has to do with back in 2013 when I first came to the country and Gunnar and I, you know, he was showing me around and we were in a shop downtown. It was like some, and not exactly downtown. I saw a copy of this newspaper and it said Reykjavik Grapevine and I looked at it and it was like, it's in English! Oh my god! And I was so surprised that I could read about the Icelandic news. So it was really nice to know that there was a publication out there that catered to foreigners, whether you're a foreigner living in Iceland or you're a foreigner abroad who wants to keep up what's going on with in Iceland. And so I've always been in, so grateful for this publication and it just makes it extra special and nice that I get a chance to partner with them. They'll be the ones hosting the box on their site. So I just want to give a thank you to Reykjavik Grapevine because they're doing amazing work. And yeah, this is just an exciting time. We'll be talking about the giveaway near the end of the video, but make sure you watch all the way through because what we'll be talking about is so awesome and delicious <laughs> that will be in this box. And plus, it is kind of tied in with the giveaway. Stay tuned to the end. So of course, you, you wanna hear what's in this special box. And just to let you know, because I am plant-based and Gunnar is not, there are a mix of those things in this box that we're making available to you, all you lovely viewers out there, so that you can have a piece of Iceland directly in your home. You know, you watch the All Things Iceland YouTube channels, you can have them on your smartphone, or your TV, wherever you watch YouTube, but now you can physically have Iceland in your home. We have picked nine things to put in this box. And in this video, we're gonna go over each of those things, not a ton in detail, but just to give you an idea of what it is, why we like it, and of course, why we think you might like it. So let's move on to the box. Let's start off with something that Gunnar has put into the box. What do you wanna start with? Well. Chocolate, maybe? Chocolate, which one? Because there's a decent amount of candy in this box, by the way. What does it say? It says Thrymr, and it means dream. And it's very tasty. <laughs> Basically, it's uh, chocolate, milk chocolate, and inside of it is a, like a salty licorice straw. And if you're not into black licorice, uh, there's only black licorice, in my opinion. <laughs> no, there, there's no other color licorice yes, to him. Exactly. <laughs> so then, it might be a bit intense for you, but uh, I really enjoy the sweet and salty mix of it. Yeah, Gunnar likes this one a lot and he has gotten it multiple times. Would you, would you say it's a dream chocolate candy? <laughs> it can be that. It yes. can be! <laughs> I, I've probably dreamt of it a few times. Yeah, there you life. go, there you go. So let's go on to something that I put in the box, which is also chocolate. And it is... Yoladir, which this package is already open because we've been eating it. <laughs> and just to let you know, so this is specifically the Christmas version. I mean, there isn't Yoladir any other time of the year because Yola means Christmas, Dir means animal, so it's Christmas animal candy. 
and basically it's dark chocolate with a like really soft peppermint filling like it's so delicious and gooey on the inside it's something that I look forward to during Christmas time and even though it's in this box now meaning like for the holiday season they actually sell out of this and so we did get a certain amount um, in order for this box but just FYI you know you'll find out later about like all the other things that are in there but there are certain limited edition things in this box for the holiday season because I thought it would be really great for people who maybe want to have this as a gift mm -hmm. or whatever else or just taste a little bit of what like some things are in Iceland for the holiday so just FYI, this is a very popular one <laughs> here in Iceland. This is a good enough thing. I don't know if it's the older generation, but I mean, I, I guess I'm part of that now. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is a dried fish and you can get it different types of fish and that is dried. And it's only got dried fish in it. It's just caught, dried out and then put in back. So that's what I really like about it. It's uh, food that doesn't have any additives. It's already got salt in it to be preserved. and. Uh, but if there are any downsides to it, then it's like if you bring it to work, everyone will smell it. Or in an enclosed space yes. where other people have not consented to you opening this bag. I mean, it might fill up a decent size to arena. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but the smell of dried fish ha is is strong. Yeah, it's quite fishy. Yeah. And uh, but it's very tasty, and I like you know using butter with it, and it's very nutritious. Chewy and nice. And this has a ton of protein in it. Absolutely. 42 grams of protein in all of this bag. And actually in Iceland, this is a very traditional thing like you mentioned, but a lot mm -hmm. of people here eat this after like working out because it's high in protein, low in fat. But just mentioning how it's been revived, like the dried fish in Iceland, it's not just like people from back in the day, but a lot of people Absolutely. even now eat this quite a bit, especially with the butter like you mentioned. <laughs> So we're gonna shift away from food for one second to talk about this, which is the Little Book of the Icelanders, which is by Alta Sigmundsdóttir. And actually this copy that I'm holding in my hand is literally one that hasn't been opened yet. But what I love about this book, and Alta in general, she is so smart and so funny, and she's really great at giving her take uh, about Iceland. And she has been writing about Iceland from her perspective and how she learned about Iceland kind of, you know, seemingly as a foreigner, even though she's Icelandic. And you'll get a great sense of Iceland from this book, meaning like habits of Icelanders that are very, of course it can be generalized, but at the same time, I think it's a great way to give people an introduction or maybe if you are Icelandic living abroad or if you've been to Iceland before you might recognize some of the things that she talks about in this book. So next up is the Um Num Chocolate and not just any Um Num Chocolate. So if you're not familiar with Um Num Chocolate then you've been missing out <laughs> because this chocolate is good. Is that right? Absolutely. Yeah. So this is Icelandic chocolate, of course, and it's from a company that uh, that not only makes delicious chocolate, but they also put a lot of thought into their packaging. It's super creative, so beautiful, and we specifically picked the Winter Collection, which has three bars of chocolate. And I'm just going to say that this is a, a limited item also in this box. So I talked about the Yoladir. Of course, these are both seasonal, but when we talked to the manufacturer, so Om Nam, they were like, yeah, this will probably sell up by mid-December. And it was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and that was one of the reasons why I wanted to bring this video to you now, because for individuals who, of course, want to get the box for the Christmas season, but also because Icelanders really like this chocolate and they'll be getting, coming after this winter collection for gifts as well. So if we just start with what's in the box, there are three bars. So the first one is spiced white and caramel, which is white chocolate spiced with orange, cinnamon, and malt topped with crunchy salted caramel. So that is not a vegan one. How did you feel about this one? It was good. It, it is a unique flavor. I could pretty much taste every ingredient mentioned other than the orange I didn't taste strongly, but it's probably in there somewhere. Uh, <laughs> But I, I really liked it. It was different enough to be worth being sounding fancy like that to me. Yeah. And believe me, 
he is one of those people when you ask his opinion, he does take this very seriously and wants to like tell you how he feels. It's like when you go to the restaurant and they're like, how did you like their food? And Gunnar's like, would you really like me to tell you? Absolutely. <laughs> So, I'm aware. All right, next one is milk and cookies, which is milk chocolate topped with spiced almond oat cookies. Again, that is not a vegan one or not vegan friendly. So, how did you feel about that one? It's good again. Um, not just good, but it was different as well. Like the cookie itself is kind of like stuck on the back side of it. I think next time I have it, I'll have a glass of milk with it. <laughs> but uh, it was very tasty too. And lastly is dark nibs plus raspberry, which is dark chocolate sprinkled with dried raspberries and crunchy cocoa nibs. So when I looked at the ingredients, there is nothing on here that does not seem like it would be vegan friendly. So I also tried this and I found it to be quite yummy. I like the fact that you have the dark chocolate, which is really rich, delicious dark chocolate where, you know, it's from organic cocoa beans from Madagascar. But then, you know, uh, it has this contrast with the nibs, the raspberry nibs, which are a little sour, but not too sour. Like it's a, it's a good balance in my opinion. And you also tried it. Mm -hmm. And how did you feel about it? I enjoyed it quite a bit. I'm not as much of a dark chocolate fan usually, but this was very, Flavorful, like um, no boring aftertaste or anything. It was really rich flavor that I enjoyed. I also want to say that Om Nom chocolate is something that I bring home to my family. So the one time that my grandmother was able to come visit Iceland, she had a chance to taste Om Nom chocolate. And since then she requests that I bring it back to her. And so I usually do that. And around the holiday season, if there's some special Om Nom chocolate thing, I bring it for her. And so this I'm actually going to be planning to bring to her. So that's also just something that, you know, personally we would give to individuals are the things that you're seeing in this box. It's not just like, hey, go do that. It's like, no, we personally like them, but also would like other people that we know and love to have them. So you're kind of like part of our family. So next up is Lacris and Marzipan. And actually we have another one that's Lacris and Marzipan. I might just bring those out anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're both the same company too. Yeah, same company, but different how the Marzipan and the licorice, which we're saying, which is Lacris, mm. are mixed together. This has lactic acid in it, which I'm assuming because it's in bold that it's probably not a vegan lactic acid. In the past, I have tried this and I've found it really tasty. I know this is something that a lot of people who are not licorice fans find this to be quite fun to eat. Mainly because you have so much of, but you're seeing that, you know, the different colors, that's the marzipan. And if you've had marzipan before, you know it's also, it's really sweet. So it kind of somewhat balances out the, the licorice. You're still gonna have the aftertaste, but you do get this like fun flavor. Enjoy it. It is a, like the marzipan is not perhaps a proper marzipan if you would ask some German that- Right, yeah, that's the marzipan. <laughs> but uh, it is a very sugary, sweet, uh, fun mix with the licorice. And I mean, I grew up with it, but since you liked it, even without liking black licorice, I'm guessing, I know more people like it. I've given it to quite a few people. Yeah, so there's this bag, which will have like the squares and th different things. But then there's also two of these, which are Stjörtne Rulla. And basically they're just these little wheels of marzipan and licorice. So that's a decent amount of licorice in this bag, but not too overwhelming, of course. Again, we're gonna take a break from the sweets <laughs> and talk about something else in the box for maybe people who want to season things. And that is some Icelandic sea salt. And it's uh, specifically, it says Arctic sea salt flakes because obviously this is a much coarser, larger flake of salt and you can grind it up and make it smaller if you want or you can take it with your fingers and just like sprinkle it on things. A lot of people use this here. This is from the company Nordersalt and they harvest their salt in the West Fjords. And the woman on the cover, who kind of reminds you of like a Starbucks cover, actually, <laughs> when you think about it, right? I was like, looking at that, I was like, it's kind of, yeah, it kind of gives me a Starbucks vibe, is named Alta. And in the old days, there was a mermaid named Alta. And so they put this image of a mermaid on their box. 
And this is specifically harvested in the West Fjords, which is a place that's really close to my heart. I love it there. It's so beautiful. Anyway, the salt is really tasty. I've used it even like today, earlier I was using it on some of my food. It's high quality salt. And it's also something like whether you want to use it for yourself or give it to another person as a gift, you can obviously do that. And the fact that it's harvested in really fresh seawater, I just thought it was pretty cool to throw it in the box for you to try. The second to last item in the box is chocolate! <laughs> Specifically though, this is baking chocolate. Now granted, you could just eat this on your own if you feel like it. And I do. Yeah, I have too. I've been at times when I was gonna make something and it called for some type of chocolate and I go and buy this and I find myself clipping off pieces of it and just popping in my mouth because it is really delicious. And again, this is vegan friendly. Uh, I like it a lot in like cookies, chocolate chip cookies. It has a, has a nice chocolatiness to the sweet cookies a lot of times. I brought it a few times to the States and people tend to like the cookies a little bit better when it has this compared to other chocolate I've had. Uh, like bought in the States, I'm not naming any brands. <laughs> <laughs> it's affordable, not cheap tasting. And this is 200 grams of it, so you'd definitely be able to use this for cookies or things like that that call for chocolate bits. Now, the last item that's in the box is a little different and something that I tried recently, which is also by Feed the Viking, which is a company that Gunnar talked about regarding the fish jerky. And this one is called Feed the Viking Vegan Mountain Meal. And for someone like me that likes to go hiking at times, and Gunnar and I have both have been on some pretty intense hiking trips, Feed the Viking is super awesome for the fact that all you have to do is open the top, pour in some hot water, I think it's like 300 milliliters of hot water, and mix it, you know, just stir a little bit, leave it for 10 minutes, and then you have a meal. Now, is this like the stew that you cook at home? No, it is not. It is definitely, you know, for me, like when I tried it, I was very, very hungry when I tried this. And I kind of purposefully did that. I tried to mock a situation in which I would need to have a meal like this. So I was running errands all day and because I wasn't out, you know, camping or something. But if you're out camping, this would be great. Super easy, accessible to get to and, and just makes a cleanup and, and prep and everything so easy. But um, I was running around doing a bunch of errands, didn't eat for like many hours, and then I decided to try this. And of course, I was able then, because my taste buds were really primed for food, to enjoy the flavoring in here. Now, I will say that like, I wish the carrots had softened a little bit more. They were still, like, they were chewy in a way that that was okay, but I liked the other parts of it more so than the carrot part. And uh, what's in here is couscous, minced, non-GMO, soy protein, dried oats, all natural, soup greens, vegetable broth, salt and spices. And I was pleasantly surprised at how well they actually spiced it, meaning like it's not spicy, like, you know, hot, um, like sriracha or hot sauce or anything, but meaning like they actually put flavor into it because I've had other meals that were, you know, for hiking and stuff. And I was like, oh God, that was terrible. Um, and protein wise, this is 19 grams of protein. So Definitely great for the person in your life. If any of you know anyone who would like to try these types of things, which are for like outdoorsy people, or if you want to simulate camping in, in your living room, or <laughs> and, I mean, people, you know, it's COVID times, or outside in your backyard, you can use some vegan mountain meal. So that is everything in the box, which as you can see is a lot of stuff. And it is available, this box, on the Regular Grapevine site, which this, the link to that is in the description of this video. All together, including the tax and free shipping, cost around $150. And it will ship to anywhere in the world. And on the website, you'll see that that's 127 euros, I think it is. And so it ends up being that, you know, for the holidays you want to get it you have to order this rather soon but like i mentioned we wanted to pack in as many things as we could of uh, things from iceland uh, and i think it's really awesome that we are able to ship this anywhere to where people are so i hope that you find this particular package interesting and want to try out some of the things whether it's for yourself whether you want to give it 
you know, and share it with your family, friends, give it as gifts. There's so many different possibilities. As I mentioned, the box ties into the giveaway that we're doing and, and Gunnar has been uh, very patient with me wearing his Icelandic sweater. How you doing? I'm sweating. He's, <laughs> he's like... <laughs> Not surprisingly. So <laughs> we're indoors and he's got a, the, probably one of the thicker ones of the sweaters. So thank you for being patient about this. But now we're on to the giveaway. And with the giveaway, I'm not just giving away an aesthetic sweater. I'm also giving away a signed, an autographed copy of Alta's book. So she'll be signing this um, to whoever ends up winning it. And the way to enter, is that, and this is like kind of our way of wanting to kick off the box and the announcement is that the first 50 people that buy the All Things Iceland collection box will be entered to win either an Icelandic sweater or a signed copy by Alta of the little book of the Icelanders, which I think is really cool. And just as a note, because if you haven't seen my video about Icelandic sweaters, that these sweaters range from around $170 to upwards sometimes of $250. If you get them customized, it can be over $300. So a sweater like this, because it's handmade, it's made from virgin Icelandic wool, which is unspun. It is one of those things that's just such an amazing thing to have for the holidays, whether it is for yourself or for a loved one. And we wanted to kick off this box by kind of giving you, the lovely viewers, the ability to win something like this and also get all these awesome things from Iceland. So all you have to do to enter is like I mentioned, go and buy the box, but after you buy it, come back here in the comments, let me know, I bought the box, but also why do you want to win the sweater? So it could be, for example, you can say, I bought the box and I want to win the sweater because I'd like to give one to my mom who wish she had bought an Icelandic sweater when she was in Iceland. Or you can even say, I want, I got the box, I bought a box and I just want an Icelandic sweater because I want one, <laughs> right? Like I want to win because, just because. That's totally fine. It has, doesn't have to be like the most amazing answer or anything. There's no right or wrong <laughs> reason why you want to win the sweater, but I would just love to hear why people are interested in winning one. And just note that the Icelandic sweater, so I'm gonna work with the person who gets chosen and they will then be able to choose a sweater from the Handing Association, which, which is where I did that last video. And you can choose from one of the sweaters that they have available. So these are not the customized sweaters, meaning like coming up with different colors or anything, but sweaters that they currently have in stock which I still think is great because they have many different varieties. And another like kind of addition that you would be good for you to know about in the future is that the people who are members of the All Things Iceland Patreon community, they actually learned about this giveaway yesterday because I've added as a benefit to Patreon that you get advanced notice about giveaways, about special offers, about announcements happening in the future. So those individuals have had, you know, at least one evening <laughs> to kind of to buy the box. There, don't worry, there's still availability for you to enter to win. Just want to let you know, though, that if you have been thinking about becoming a member of the All Things Iceland community on Patreon, this is another added benefit in addition to the extra content that I put on there. So it's content that I don't put anywhere else, such as Ask Me Anythings every month, live chats, Folklore Friday, and so many other things. So definitely check that out and become a member if you want some of these added benefits. I will announce the winners of the giveaway of the sweater or the autograph book in my video next week. So definitely make sure that you get your box so you don't miss out on this. I mean, I feel like a one in 50 chance of winning an Icelandic sweater is pretty good. What do you think? Well, you get more if you buy more boxes, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah if, you, if you buy several boxes, you get, you know, extra tickets, I guess, or extra potential. Yeah. That's actually a good point. So good luck to everybody. And of course, like I mentioned, definitely let me know in the comments after you buy the box why you want to win the sweater. Thank you, Gunnar, for joining me, joining us. <laughs> we thank you for watching and we'll see you. Have a nice day. In the next one.